On this episode of Conversations with Rich Bennett. Rylan and Landon are my twin sons. They were born um, when my wife was only 28 weeks pregnant. So they were born about three months early. And um, when they were born, they only weighed two and a half pounds. Um, Rylan experienced uh, a grade four brain bleed on both sides of his brain. Mm. Um, he was injured um, when he was born. And um, that led to um, an emergency transfer to Johns Hopkins. He um, was diagnosed with hydrocephalus, which is like fluid building up on the brain. Um, and then he had to have what's called a, a shunt place. He had a temporary one placed at first, then a permanent one. Um, the shunt basically drains spinal fluid from his brain into his stomach so he can pee it out where we don't have that issue. Our wow. bodies just do it naturally and his couldn't. So all that fluid was building up on his brain. Um, and then um, the twins are both diagnosed with a genetic condition called Pataki Lupski syndrome, which is where they have an extra part of uh, chromosome 17. Um, so with being born premature and having, you know, the injury, Rylan has a lot more needs than, than Landon does, but right. they, they both do due to the prematurity and the genetic condition that they have. Coming to you from the Freedom Federal Credit Union Studios, Harford County Living presents Conversations with Rich Bennett. Come on, you're faster than with me. Guys. Yeah. 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 Oh man, you Come already on. said it. I was going to ask her. She remembered the date. Yes. Thanks for joining the conversation. So today I am joined by three gentlemen, the one I haven't seen in a long time. You all recognize his voice, or you will. Hopefully you do. I don't know. It's probably been five years since he's been on the damn show. <laughs> so I got Joe Ayler joining me again, um, along with George Wooden, who you've heard on the podcast before. He's the one his ass is too damn big to fit into a tank. Uh <laughs> And we're joined by Bobby Anderson, who also actually works with Joe at Tar Heel Construction. And we're going to be talking about something uh, very special. We're going to be Bobby. Bobby's got a story. Um, he's going to be telling us about his kids. And then afterwards, um, we're going to be talking about an event that's coming up. Um, well, to help out with everything, right? Yeah, to help out with everything that's going on with was it Landon. Rylan and Landon. Rylan and Landon. Yeah. L All right. Now I'm getting. Now I'm getting confused because I remember. I wish letter. you would have called me when I sunk. I told you all the background. Well, no, because <laughs> Rylan's the one that's in the wheelchair, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. See, I had it right. All right. So, well, first of all, how's everybody doing? <laughs> cold. Cold. We're cold. You're doing good. Doing good. You're, Joe's got all the heat hitting him. He's in front of the damn heater. Joe is lucky as always. I'm look. You were here before him. I'm surprised you didn't jump over in that seat. I, I should have. He would have been blocking all the air from us. All, yeah. But you know, yeah, that's okay. It would have came off his bald head though. See, why'd you have to go there? <laughs> see, see, you went right there, didn't hey, he? Look, between my you buddy and me Joe, and two bald heads. We're yeah, just you were just it's reflecting. reflected and keeping reflecting. those two warm. It's like reflectors. <laughs> Think like about the, it like, like that. the wind coming over the Mount Mount Everest. That's it. Those big that's it. That's wind exactly. Gusts that's exactly over what's the peak happened. of the mountain. That's. I'm gonna look at it like that. I'm gonna feel it like that. You know what? It, when you get our age, it, no, yeah, you'll still have a head. He'll still have. He'll still have. <laughs> Some bitch. <laughs> so God. All right. So Bobby, explain to everybody. Well, let, just talk about Rylan and Landon. Um, what Rylan's going through, which will build up the premise for you know what's going to be going on yeah um so rylan and landon are my twin sons they were born um when my wife was only 28 weeks pregnant so they were born about three months early and um when they were born they only weighed two and a half pounds um rylan experienced uh, a grade four brain bleed on both sides of his brain mm. um he was injured um when he was born and um that led to um, an emergency transfer to Johns Hopkins. He um, was diagnosed with hydrocephalus, which is like fluid building up on the brain. Um, and then he had to have what's called a, a shunt place. He had a temporary one place at first, then a permanent one. Um, the shunt basically drains spinal fluid from his brain into his stomach so he can pee it out where we don't have that issue. Our wow. bodies just do it naturally and his couldn't. So all that fluid was building up on his brain. Um, 
And then um, the twins are both diagnosed with a genetic condition called pataki lopsky syndrome, which is where they have an extra part of uh, chromosome 17. Um, so with being born premature and having, you know, the injury, Rylan has a lot more needs than, than Landon does, but right. they, they both do due to the prematurity and the genetic condition that they have. And what is the genetic condition it's, called? It's called pataki lupski syndrome, or PTLS. Um, it's uh, where they have an extra part of chromosome 17. Now, what is chromosome 17? Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's responsible for. I just know that with the pataki lupski syndrome, it's like a, a spectrum disorder. It's oh, like really? It, yeah, it can be very mild or it can be very severe. Um, and, uh, yeah, they both have that. And how old are they now? The twins are four. They're four? Yeah. Plus, you have hey, your other your other son's older, right? Yeah, Hayden's five. Hayden's five, and yeah. you correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys also just had another baby, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Kate was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2020, and right before um, she started chemo, we, we were sat down by a doctor and said, you know, you'll never be able to have kids again unless if you want to freeze your eggs now. And you know, that was when Rylan had just come home from being in the NICU for seven months, so like. Um, and he came home on like an NG feeding tube and stuff. So like we weren't thinking about having kids, you know, we were like, you know, that's way down the road if we ever wanted to do that. So we were surprised when, um, on Memorial day last year when she had a positive pregnancy test. Okay. Wait a minute. So after seven months he comes home and then you find out she's got breast cancer. Yeah, we were, um, it was right before Valentine's Day um, in 2020, we were watching a movie, and um, I just had this thought, I just said, have you ever gotten checked for breast cancer? And she said, no, why do you ask? And I was like, I just thought about it. And um, she said, yeah, maybe I should get examined just to make sure. And she wow. got she got checked out, and she had breast cancer. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, it the weird thing with that is you're the one that thought about it. It's almost like something put that. Thought yeah. In. Yeah. And then she, and then she got pregnant again. Just with it, last year. Just yeah. last year. Yeah. So three years later. Yep. And it was something you guys weren't expecting, right? Not, not at all. Um, I, I jokingly around said, I think you're pregnant. And then she took a pregnancy test on Memorial day and it was positive. Dude, wait, wait a minute, man. What the hell is going on here? Because you're sensing all this stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, that's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. Now, how's and, and you're, the youngest one who that was just born is boy, another boy? Yeah, boy, yeah. Four boys now. Yeah. And, and this one's fine? This baby's fine? Um, he, He's in the NICU right now. Um, Because of the C-section Kate had with the twins, she couldn't right. go full term. So they had to do um, a C-section in between 36 and 37 weeks. And it's typical for a kid that's even full term that's born by C-section to go to the NICU for mm-hmm. just for, like, respiratory support, which is why he's there. But he should he should be coming home tomorrow if everything goes as planned. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So with everything that's been going on, especially with with, with Ryland and Landon, um, and, and thank God you work for a good company, but that's that's got to be a lot on both of you. Um, yeah, it it is. I guess uh, I think that we handle it pretty well. You know, yeah. it's like a lot of times. You know, when we hear that it's hard. It, it, it can be hard at times for sure, but it kind of just feels like natural for us, I guess, just right. because it's our reality. And, you know, when Rylan has his surgeries and stuff, Kate and I will, will pray together and um, we thank God for the opportunity to be their parents, you know. So yeah. it's like when people say it's so hard, it's like it is hard, but we feel like honored to be their parents. We feel like it's a blessing to be their parents. Wouldn't change anything. Yeah. I, I want to interject. I've been to their house a couple times. Yeah. And every time... He is so alert to little noises from the kids Yeah, that he will jump up and go and, like, check because he knows a certain noise that they'll do or something like that. And I'll say to him, everything's all right. She's in there. But he's so attuned to it. So he's, yeah. on top, he's like, on edge the whole time listening to the kids. Yeah. The I, kids. I know, like, Rylan is nonverbal and Landon is can speak a little bit. But it's, right. like, I know by, like, certain sounds, like, what is, is going going on with them. How many surgeries has he had so far? Um, Rylan has had, I don't even know. He's had like, 
around like seven or eight neurosurgeries and he's probably had about like four or five just like other surgeries like g-tube surgery um he had a, a hernia repair um he had a cranial restructure surgery which i guess that would be considered a neurosurgery too yeah. but um yeah he's had a lot and landon's had it just a couple and where do you, you guys go to hopkins all the time for this or um we actually go to children's hospital of philadelphia it's Ooh, it's good hospital yeah it's further of a drive but they're the second best children's yeah. hospital in the country and you know if they're going to get that level of care and it takes us an extra hour to drive it's definitely worth it now does your wife stay at home with the kids yeah she's okay. a, a full-time stay-at-home mom she's basically a physical therapist occupational therapist speech oh, wow. therapist I mean, she's not certified as those things but she has to do all those things with the twins like on a regular basis so right yeah that's, wow holy cow man i that's just i i can't even imagine just i mean your everyday life everything that you're going through his four kids yeah i know the four kids but plus everything that his wife's been through too yeah you know um and you know a lot of guys would have i hate to say this but a lot of guys would have walked away but not you, because you're sensing the things. Yeah. And if it, if it wasn't for you sensing these things, you know, it just it, wow, man. But I Damn. think the I think the idea behind the event is for people to, um, you know, uh, try to relate on some level to you know some of the yeah. challenges that this family has, um, and for them to understand this isn't this is a lifetime um situation right it, it's a it's it's lifetime care that the twins yeah. are going to need it's not just um you know some some challenges with a premature birth early on this is you know 100 percent care into adulthood 100 you know. percent of the time right yeah. so yeah. you know I, I want people to understand that you know and obviously you know i'm close with bobby and have been for many years and we were talking this morning you know and and they did and they did just have a a a newborn and you know i also want people to understand that you know him and kate you know wanted to have uh a son between the two of them because you know hayden you know is from a previous um they they wanted to have a a a healthy normal son or a, a healthy normal child you know and we don't want people to you know, kind of misunderstand and say, hey, well, if they've got all these challenges, why are they having more children, sure. right? Yeah. You know, but I, I want people to also understand the other side of things that, you know, for, for a young growing family, you know, to to want, you know, a, a normal, mm-hmm. you know, health, or maybe I'm not using the right word. They're yeah. healthy. A healthy. Typical. Yeah. Right. You know, so um, that's the idea behind the event. And, you know, you know, and, and Bobby is an absolute joy and, and a value to have on the Tar Heel team and has been for about six years. Um, but j- just the, the the disparity between, you know, earning potential mm-hmm. and what it's going to cost to care for these kids. For a lifetime. For 20, a lifetime. 24-7. You know, I mean, he, he, you know, he could be making a million dollars a year. Right. You know, and, st- and, and, you know, it, it's just going to be just constant um, – care and the care is going to change as they grow right mm-hmm. so the care that they need now as toddlers isn't going to be the kind of care that they need when they're eight and nine exactly and then when they're teenagers and it so it's going to change and um and that's not even to mention the the house being outfitted right 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 oh, you know because right so, now it's not outfitted so, the, so it's going to have to be ada compliant and well, everything ramps everything wheelchair else. ramps yeah. so the idea behind the event is to you know provide you know tools and you know provide money so they can acquire tools and resources to right. outfit their family with the you know with, with the things that they need to you know g- give these boys a more comfortable life yeah one, one of the first things he doesn't he doesn't know this and neither does joe but you know because you know as well as i mm-hmm. do my position one of the first things after joe called me and asked that look you know could you help him and i said yes i'll do it it's you of course i'll do it the um my my wife and I, my wife never goes with me. You don't know that. My wife and I never never goes with me to the meetings. She right. went with me 
to meet him, his wife, and his family. Because what many don't know is we were born with challenges too with our son. Our son was born with a cleft lip and palate. We went through 16 major surgeries. I don't know if you know that or not. Damn. Yeah, he's great now. So that like you're you're hitting home with me by saying like the word normal. You know, we were one of those. We've lost. We lost. We lost our family. Our family abandoned us. The whole mm-hmm. thing over that normal. Like they were ashamed, and um. So the fact that I know the challenges we went through are a shadow of what he's. I was there. Yeah. Right. And I saw the kids. I saw that we met the kids. My I wanted my wife to meet the kids. You know why? So that we could get tied into it. Normally we you know we're separated from our clients, but I but knowing her as a mother, I wanted to take her and get her to get the feel yeah. for what they're going through. Yeah, and that's the one because I've had. Um, other people on here who have kids um, that have some type of different abilities and everything and other things growing up. But it, it's amazing how it's pulled their family together. Hmm. Uh, it, not, it, that doesn't always happen. Didn't happen with us. But the other thing is, too, when you talk to the parents, and I'm sure Bobby can contest to this already, you're learning so much more when you're going through this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you know, about the ki- not just about your kids, but about life in general. Mm-hmm. I would think, mm-hmm. you know, just for example, how much we take for advantage every day, take for granted, or to- take for granted. To yeah, you know. Um, so this event, you get this is coming up March twenty second, right? At Martin's West. At yeah. Martin's West. Um, tell everybody what this event is and what it's for. Well, we know what it's for. Yeah. So um, I had, you know, Kate and I were kind of waiting to see, like, what the um, future would look like for Ryland and Landon before we would even ask for help because we didn't want to ask for help if we didn't need it. And, you know, after everything we've been through over the last four or five years, you know, we realized that Ryland and Landon are going to need our care Mm -hmm. for the rest of their lives. And um, so I reached out to Joe because I knew that he knew George and just kind of just said like, Hey, do you think that this is something that we could do for Ryland and Landon? And, um, there's certain features of our home that we need handicap accessible mm-hmm. that are beyond our means. And, um, insurance covers some stuff, but, but, but it's like, they'll categorize certain things and be like, okay, we'll give you this, but we're not going to give you another thing in that category for 10 years. And we might need like two or three things in that category. Gosh. Um, and then just, you know, and our home in general, just like, you know, um, just things that there's things that like we didn't even think about that we learned that we need for our home and then also there's probably still things that we haven't thought of yet that we probably need to so anyway yeah so um i got on the phone with george and um he got on the phone with martins and locked in the date pretty quickly for march 22nd and um yeah it's uh, for ryland and landon your home is it two stories or one it's two it's two yeah with a basement right yeah, with the basement. With yeah. the basement. Oh my God! So there, yeah, yeah there is Great. a lot that you need. To yeah, do. yeah. But wow. not. O- I mean, not only. And obviously, I, I know the situation. Um, you know, because I've known Bobby for for mm-hmm. several years now. But n- not only is it, you know, wheelchairs. You know, it's it's medical supplies. It's monitoring equipment. It's machinery. It's, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's a whole. They're not lot. just for the house either. Like when you walk into like a a like a hospital room like you know, if you got to visit a family member or something happens or whatever and you see all the monitors and the and the and the and the special beds you know the mechanical beds mm-hmm. and the mechanical wheelchairs just all all that stuff you know and then you got to understand as these boys grow they they grow like you know physically right with yeah. size and weight right so, so just like a, just like when i you know, I, 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 I have an 11 and a nine year old and I'm complaining every time that, that my daughter grows out of a pair of, a pair <laughs> of snow boots, you know, and I just imagine if, you know, when, when Landon, you know, uh, grows out of the wheelchair, the wheel, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Or, or, or whatever it is. Yeah, or, right. Then yeah. you could take it even as far as, as they grow, you know, they're, when they're babies, they need, they can, you could use baby things. Right. But as you grow, you're still going to need that. <clears throat> that same amount of stuff of equipment or whatever supplies but in adult sizes yeah which they don't readily make 
And I, I want to tell you a little part of me. This is what kills me is with him mm -hmm. is that even with my son, they, with a cleft up and pallet, the insurance company said, oh, this is cosmetic. So we're not covering that. Right. So you can imagine on my small scale what they're telling him. It's because they don't want to pay. Yeah. And he's it's it's mountainous to what he needs. You know, Bobby, with, with everything it, with with you and your wife are going through with the kids. And I don't even I don't know if there's anything out there like that. But are there any support groups for you guys that you've been able to join if there's um, anything out there like that? There, there's, like, different, like, Facebook groups and stuff. Like, a lot of times when we're crossing, like, right. a new challenge or something that we're kind of, like, unsure about or if there's, like, resources or something. Um, I think that other parents are, like, one of the greatest resources for yeah. advice because they've been through it. You know, mm -hmm. um, doctors, you know... I don't. I have rarely seen a doctor that have seen a child with Pataki Lupski syndrome. So in the Pataki Lupski syndrome support group, you know, we can go to to them and the um, lady from the Pataki Lupski syndrome foundation. Like we can go to them for advice about stuff. So oh, so there is a foundation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, so basically, like other parents, yeah. just like through social media, has been like one of the bigger support for um, trying to navigate stuff. Okay. So. With this event, because um, I, I know with you, George, you're, you're like traveling the country all the time doing events everywhere. I'm going to Twin Falls, Idaho, on Thursday. Oh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> freezing cold for Twin Falls, Idaho. But, but because of all the, like we said, this is a lifetime thing. Um, and, and money only goes so far. Now, I don't know if you would be doing an event every year. But do you, is there any plans to do more stuff in the future? Um, I haven't really crossed that bridge I, right now. What we're con, what we're focused, aim, on, the focused on is the main event. Right. If there's a follow up, great. Yeah, um, we're focused on this main event, um, which are, is going to be gar very big, gargantuan, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But the, right now, it's all focuses on this. Establishing that first event is the hardest one to do. Right. Um, because you're dealing with, you know, you don't even have house money to play with. You're mm -hmm. literally, you don't know what hands you're going to be dealt. So thank God for Joe and Tar Heel mm -hmm. and the staff at Tar Heel and Danny McGee from the Victory Team and Agape Projects and, and all of our contacts and all of Joe's contacts and everybody else. Uh, I'm positive. And I already have a very close, I just want to mention, it's a very close friend of mine who runs a major charity up in Pennsylvania. Her name's Pat Maloney. She's not only buying a table, but she donated a week in Paris and a week at her private uh, condo in Saratoga, Florida, for the live auction. The Paris place is, is sits 283 yards from the Eiffel Tower. Wow. That'll be in the live auction. It's going to be an incredible, incredible event. But the hardest part is to get the village. It takes a village, yeah. It takes a village to get the village involved. And the Harford County, especially since... You know, Tar Heels from Harford County. Mm -hmm. We're all basically, I'm from Cecil, but to get everybody involved, give them a great event for the the one of the best causes that there is, um, these children. And I, that's when, when he, I remember where it was when I, I was sitting on my, I, his, my phone rang and I went out on the deck to talk to him. And it was the summertime mm -hmm. when he called me. And kids, and for him, kids, we should all be happy. If you've got a child that had no problems, well, now let's help a family right. that has problems. And he doesn't have little problems. He's got big problems. Yeah. And we're doing everything we humanly can. I'm calling in all my favors I can possibly call in. And for those of you listening, um, George's events, is, it's that. It's an event. Uh, I know Joe's been to probably a few of them, right? Mm -hmm. I've been to the one, and it's just it's, – it's something you're never going to forget. You're going to have a lot of fun. Um, Tell me about what, the event you went to. Oh. You were a part of Santa. Well, you, that's hey, right. His kids better not be listening. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, no, it, it was great, even though you gave away my chair. Um, no, it, it's just amazing. That was the, the, the first one I've ever been to. I, I hear about them all the time. Now, you and I had, well, that's 
been at an event together, but right. that's something else. We um, didn't give away your chair. We sold your chair yeah, for twenty one hundred dollars. So well, I'm sorry, everybody else, so you should have gave it to someone. <laughs> <Right. laughs> um, <laughs> um, but no, the, the the stuff that you have, and there is no dancing. That's what I love about it. And yes, at his event, I was Santa, and it was pretty cool sitting there as Santa. No Christmas music going on, and I'm just sitting there. I'm bopping. I'm getting into the music. People are drinking spiked People, apple cider. Yes. I mean, it was a hell of an event, but the items, oh, my God. The silent auction items, the live auction items, they're, you're not going to find stuff like that no. anywhere else. And with the way the Ravens are playing? Well, I'm excited. I'm ex- really excited. And if anybody knows um, memorabilia, Warrior Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson rarely signs. He rarely does. And mm-hmm. it's all done through his mother. I don't know if anybody knows that. His mother's his agent. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what he does is he keeps his autograph very, very rare. It's mm-hmm. hard to get to. I saw the aforethought was going to end to this, and I was able to secure a black, when they wear that you know blackened jersey, nice a black, one. authentic autograph with a certificate of authenticity autographed Lamar Jackson jersey and I'm positive being a major Ravens fan that they will be in a Super Bowl he will be the MVP again and they will win mm-hmm. when that happens his autograph is going to skyrocket he'll probably be in the range of 2500 to 2700 dollars wholesale what I can get it for after that happens mm mm-hmm. mhm so I was able to secure a, a jersey before all this, before they got anywhere near close to the Super Bowl, holding it for his event. That will be in the live auction, and we're looking for a sponsor for it, which right. will be great. Um, we're going to have a lot of incredible things, like I talked about Paris. We're going to have Saratoga, Florida. We're going to have a lot of great stuff. We're going to give them an event like they've never seen before. If you've been to our events, you know how big they are, and 100% of the proceeds, let me say this again, 100% of the proceeds are going to the Agape Project through Danny McGee, who runs the Agape Project. And those proceeds will then be given to the Anderson family from the Agape Project to get done what he needs to start, at least, to get done right. what he needs to get done. The more involvement we get through sponsorships, business sponsors, um, any types of event, event sponsors, they'll get a lot of advertisement. We can talk about that. Um all that adds in, ticket sales, table sales, all that adds, adds in um, to come into the event. There will be live auctions, silent auctions, raffles, donations. There will be all kinds of different things. Um, a lot happening, a lot of great food, a lot of great drinks, good music. Well, it's Martin's. The food is awesome. Martin's West, too, Martin's the headquarters. West, yeah. So, <laughs> and um, um, here's the way how I look at it. A lot of people, if I say sell 500 tickets. People go crazy. They look like me pulling their hair out. By the way, I'm bald, <laughs> pulling, pulling their hair out, right? Oh, my God, oh, my God. But if I say, okay, look, get 50 people to either buy or sell a table of 10, that's 500 people. Right. So that's the way you knock it out. He's already got a lot reserved and pre-sold um, by himself. But imagine if we could get 800, 80 people. Or we could get 100 people to buy or sell a table of 10. And then there's 1,000 people there. The amount of money that we'll be able to raise. And if a, more businesses from the area get involved as a sponsorship, we're going to give them an amazing amount of advertisement mm-hmm. through Facebook, all the social networks, on the Internet, everything else. And at the event itself, we could really, really, really pull together and make a real change for a local family with two beautiful little boys who need our help. Yeah. I'm standing up for it. I know Joe is. I want to share an amazing experience I had with Tar Hill Construction Group when I needed to install a new roof on my home. Let me tell you, they are truly a cut above the rest. Tar Hill Construction Group is an award-winning residential and commercial roofing and exteriors contractor focusing on roofing, siding, gutters, and solar solutions. Proudly serving Baltimore, Hartford, and Cecil Counties, They make it their priority to make a positive impact in the communities they serve first while providing exceptional services in roofing and exteriors. From start to finish, Tar Heel Construction Group proved to be a reputable and dependable contracted solution. Their quality installations and good communication kept me informed 
and reassured throughout the entire process. It's no wonder they have been voted Harford's best roofing contractor and best home improvement contractor for three years running. But here's what really impressed me. Tar Heel Construction Group's commitment to continued service and registered warranties. They stand behind their work, ensuring that I have peace of mind for years to come. What's even more remarkable is their dedication to giving back to the community. They aggressively support and uplift the neighborhoods they serve, making a positive difference in people's lives. I feel incredibly grateful and humbled to have chosen Tar Heel Construction Group for my roof. They have earned my trust and respect for being the only contractor to be voted Harford's best roofing contractor and Baltimore's best roofing contractor in the same year. So if you're looking for top-notch roofing and exterior solutions, look no further than Tar Heel Construction Group. Visit their website at tarheelconstructiongroup.com or give them a call at 410-638-7021. Again, that's 410-638-7021. Experience the excellence and community impact for yourself. Tar Heel Construction Group, building excellence one roof at a time. Joe's the reason for this. Right. Yeah, because that's unusual for you. And correct me if I'm wrong, but unusual for you to do, because of the way you travel, to do an event here. And that's what he called me. He called me and he said, look, and I'll tell you, he said, I know you don't like doing events here. And um, because we, we're in California, we're spending a lot of time in Texas this yeah. year. We're booked out for 2024 already. And he said, what'd you do? And I went, it's him. So mm-hmm. I'm like, what do you want me to do? I'll do it. Can't so, say no to Joe. Can't say no to Joe. Come on. So, <laughs> should so be a um, shirt. Can't say, say no, no to, to Joe. Joe. <laughs> you, you should. Listen, my wife makes shirts now, so we can make that happen. In fact, watch us have that. Can't uh-huh. say no to Joe. In fact, wait a minute. Remind me of that. So While um, we're on that. I need four tickets to the AFC Championship on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so do I. <laughs> so, um, so we're going to give them. We're going to put a lot in right now. What we're, our concentration is on, and I, you know, I work through a recipe kind of like what Tar Heel does. Tar Heel mm-hmm. knows how to the best in the business when it comes to roofing and siding mm-hmm. and everything else they do. So we're right now, we are concentrating on selling tables and business sponsors. Tables, 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 tables of ten. How much is a table of ten, Bobby? Eight fifty. How much? Eight fifty. Eight fifty. For a table of ten. For yeah, a table of 10, 80, 10 bucks a person. That's yeah. cheap. Four hours, yeah, four hours. All you can eat, all you can drink for four hours. Music, the whole deal. Hell, you go out nowadays to any restaurant. <laughs> well, number one, you're you're not going to be able to get all you can eat for that. <laughs> for thirty, and, and if you're you there drink? for forty five minutes, and you're spending, and I, I was I was literally about ready to rattle off some local restaurants that I know that are much more. But this is, you're not there for 45 minutes. Right. You're here for four hours. Four hours, all you can eat and drink. Yeah, you can eat, sit down, chill out, and then go back up and then sit down. You can't eat all that food. It's so much food. Well, George throws, a, th- throws an incredible event. Yeah, he and the, the auction items are just one of a kind, very, very unique items. Um, you know, it's fun. It's different. You know, it's not like you're... You know, your, your, your standard kind of bull and oyster roast with a, you it's know. It's not a bull and oyster roast at all, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, if, if, that's what you're, if that's what you're thinking, you know, with the with the wheel and all that, it, this is unique, unique auction items, mm-hmm. unique flow. It's a positive vibe. And, um, you know, I mean, what, what, what better way to, you know, spend a night out supporting a good cause. Having a great time. Having a good time. Knowing we're 100% of the money. Mm-hmm. Nobody's getting a cut of the money. Nobody's taking a piece. Nobody's getting a commission. Everybody, 100% of the money raised that night goes directly to him. Wow. His family. Wow. Via, because of, he, he made a phone call. Right. The, um, there's so much opportunity. And the, all of us need, need a reason to feel good. We all do. Mm-hmm. Right? Well... I've been there. I've seen it. I've seen the reason. And these little poor, beautiful little boys, I've seen it. And then when somebody who I trust says, look, he, this is real, we're in. 
we're going to give them we're going to give them an event rally around Rylan and Landa. We're going to give them an event like they've never seen. And this is the this is the one thing I'll interject. A lot of people, a lot of other people from the from Harford County will mm-hmm. say, well, it's got to be in Harford County for this should be in Harford County. The problem is is that this event is going to be so big. There's no place in Harford County to host it. Right. Um, and to get what you get from Martins, you can't you can't touch it, and it's going to be phenomenal. And right now, what I'm I am personally asking and challenging every business out there to step up. We have three to four different levels, but we have three because Tar Heel Construction and Joey Eller are, are, are the platinum pre- platinum presenting sponsors. Mm-hmm. Danny McGee from Agape Project. And through the Victory Team, the Victory Team is our ticket sponsor. We have three other levels, and we have a bunch of other things for, for sponsorships. We're challenging everybody to step up. This is the event for you. Because what I have to say, and I'm going to say it with him sitting here, I, I all I do is watch Joe Ayler giving and 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 giving, and giving, and giving mm-hmm. times 100 to local causes and local charities. This is a time for everybody who has watched Joe and do what he does to step up for Joe. Because everybody loves the man. Now he reached out because he's trying to help somebody who's a part of him. Yeah. And it's 100% legitimate on every aspect. There's no... The money's not going to be wasted. I can guarantee you that, and this has happened before, that the following week that the Anderson family is not going to be in, like, Cabo San Lucas with the money. No, that's not going to happen. It's going to go to what what it's needed for. What's, yeah, what needs what the kids need, what's needed in the house. Yep. Well, what's needed in the house is for the kids. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the kind words, George. I mean, the, the ultimate, um, you know, nod to us, you know, as – as a company, right, and as me myself would be, you know, if, if we could influence one person or, or one company to to give, right, mm-hmm. you know, the, the famous book, Go Giver, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's like the, the, the more you give, the, the more you get, yep. you know, and, um, you know, early when we started this company, you know, it was, you know, obviously everybody becomes an entrepreneur to, you know, chase after money, but, yeah. Once you get, once you get to a certain, once you once you quote unquote arrive, you know the you realize it was never about the money, you know, and and you know, for us it's you know we want to give back to the community, right? You know, so we can influence other people and other businesses mm-hmm. to do the same, um, you know, and just follow you know biblical principles like the golden rule, you know, how would I want to be treated? in this situation if somebody reached out to me yeah. um, and, and to, to ultimately bless others with the blessings that the Lord has, has provided to me and my family. And that's kind of, you know, the, the, the foundation at which, you know, I live my life. And obviously Bobby's, you know, has been a, um, a friend, you know, first and, 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 a, and a dedicated and valued employee at Tar Heel Construction Group as our media coordinator for, for going on six years. So, um, you know, obviously us being a, a family and friends, you know, company where, where we're a tight-knit group, um, it's, it's just a side effect to, you know, get emotionally involved with, you know, all the families of all the people that work for us. Uh, when, when Bobby reached out to me, um, you know, obviously – you know, he's, he's got a lot of challenges Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, it's been our pleasure to, um, you know, to provide employment for him first because he's such a great guy, but, but more importantly, it's been our pleasure to, um, support this event, you know, and, 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 to uh, you know, give, give back to, to him, you know, so. Go ahead. My, my, I want to ride on one top of what he just said. I don't, and I watch it all because my, mm-hmm. it's my world, right? It's my world to know what's going on in the area. And the reason why we don't do much here is because I like doing things at larger venues right. to put on large, large events. And there's a certain qualification you have to get to, to in order for me to help you. Right. So that's why I don't like doing stuff around here. So 
so I watch it all. I watch all the local events. I watch all the local people, all the local things, all the local things. And there's nobody. No, I would say whether here, here or not, because you and I have talked about it on the phone privately. There's nobody that gives back more to the community than him, mm -hmm. than Joe Ayler. On behalf of Tar Heel and his employees, they're always there. They're always giving out toys. They're always doing this. They're always at this event, the SIAB and all these other events. They're always sponsoring. So you can imagine the money, the profit that comes in, he's giving it right back out again. So yep. the return and will it return back to the community through their company is phenomenal. Joe's are, yes, I'm going to give you praise here. <laughs> but, it, but seriously, in all honesty, you're a role model, not just to people, but to a lot of businesses. Um, and I applaud you for everything that you do because you do. You're always, you're always giving back. Um, I, he's affected, he don't know it, but he's affected me with that. I, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I got yelled at <laughs> a couple times. Yeah. Like, you're giving what the who? It's like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the biggest Dang thank you would just have the, you know, community leaders and, and just fellow businesses just, you know, support this event. Yeah, it would be. You know. The, the, I would love, honestly, like I, I keep posting on Facebook and I'm not talking. I, I know we're not talking more about you, but now this, we're calling out the community. I would love to see the Hartford County community, the Hartford County family, or Hartford County, everybody in Hartford County to be a part, mm -hmm. to be there. And l listen, this is like just like when you build a house, you know, it takes brick by brick. And how we're doing the brick by brick is by filling these seats. The most important part of a, of a fundraising, of any successful fundraising event, I've told him, him, I mean, I sit down and drill him. The most important thing, and I drill this into my clients across the country, I'm just telling one in Sacramento, California right now, is you don't have an event if you don't can't fill the seats. Right. And a lot of the times people will say, well, I'll, I'll, I'll buy a table, and but they won't come. They're just planning on buying a table because they think that was going to help. No, 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 no. No. If you're going to do that, be a sponsor. then just be a sponsor. Right. Sponsor it. But we need butts in the seats because butts in the seats or who will bid and i'm going to give you an amazing items to bid on mm -hmm. vacations and jewelry and all kinds of different things um butts in the seats is what's important now you can imagine this place will can fit a lot of people right now tickets are limited to 500 and he's already more than halfway there if we can get there i will then go back to martin's and big borrow and steal to try to get more room mm -hmm. i'm positive we're going to pass 500 i'm positive right. of that um, right now, I, the, uh, the idea is fill the seats and me, as many sponsorships as humanly possible. Get as many businesses involved. This is the time to give back, and you know where it's going. It's not going to some lofty thing where you don't know the administrative costs and all this other things. It's not going to that. It's, all of it is going right to this right. family. Danny, Danny from Agape Project, great guy, is not – keeping a dime of it for his own for his own charity 100 percent is going to them through them the reason why we had to get the agape project everybody note this businesses the out there C3. because he's a confirmed 501c3 through the irs which means your donations are tax deductible that is why when we started this i said we need to get a hold of a charity right and that was danny because we've worked with danny in the past mm -hmm. we got a hold of danny Danny came in, said, yep, I'm in. It's a ticket sponsor. And now, so everything will go to the Agape Project. People will write checks. The payments will go through the Agape Project's bank account, and then you can claim it on your taxes. So speaking of, so if a business wants to become, we know what it is to buy a ticket. It's 800, 850 a table for a table of 10, right? Yep. yep. If somebody wants to become a sponsor, a business wants to become a sponsor or a person, what are your different the different sponsorship levels? Do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Okay, so there's there's three different levels that are op sponsorship levels, and then there's other things. Mm -hmm. The the three financial sponsor event financial sponsors are a thousand dollars for a bronze sponsor, which you get two tickets. This is basically a philanthropic donation, which means you're not doing this to get tickets. You get tickets, right? But you're doing it to sponsor to become right. a sponsor, which you'll get a lot of advertisement all over the place through Facebook and the social media. Plus, at the event, mm -hmm. that's a thousand dollars. That's bronze. Then there's a silver sponsor for twenty five hundred, which gets you five tickets, and then we'll 
hit you up, see if you want to buy another five to fill a table. <laughs> um, that's twenty five hundred, right? Um, which also gets you a lot of advertisement. And then there's a gold. Gold is five thousand. That gets you a full table of ten and an enormous amount of of, of advertisement. You'd be up at front and center, up to the event. Now closer to the auction. Closer to the auction. auction. Yeah, to, yeah. Closer to that guy, that bald guy, him. <laughs> um, and then if you can't do any of those, but you still like the like the spots or something, we have a little. Uh, like for instance, the Lamar Jackson jersey, a framed Lamar Jackson jersey. You could sponsor that, which basically means cover the cost of it. And you will be your name will be announced when it comes up for sale. Let's just say Tar Heel Construction says, "Yeah, I'll sponsor that." So we'll say when I because I'm the auctioneer. Obviously, you all know that. Um, I'll say the Lamar Jackson autographed and framed. Now he's a super because now he's a Super Bowl quarterback MVP. Thank you. Hopefully, <laughs> um, it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, I'm sorry. I'm the guy like I always say it on Facebook. I'm not going to say nothing. Okay, let's say Lamar Jackson, Baltimore Ravens autographed and framed spotlight jersey. Um, Talk about the jerseys. It's sponsored by Tar Heel Construction. Everybody give Tar Heel Construction a round of applause. Right. And everybody will stand up and everything will have a tent card on it. You could sponsor an auction item. You ought to see if you can get a Taylor Swift signed jersey. <laughs> I, already, I told him a Kelsey jersey <laughs> on, signed by on. Taylor Come Swift. <laughs> Listen to this. This is crazy. So we Signed said, by Taylor Swift oh. and Lamar Jackson. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like to get it dirty and bloody. A, a Kelsey jersey, dirty and bloody, signed by Taylor Swift. And but um, I so we work with the NRA a lot. Right. We send them thousands and thousands and thousands of auction items. Can you believe they are asking me for Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey signed? I mean things. I said. Absolutely, positively not, and I'm not going to make it. Because here's what's going to happen. Give it another six months, we'll be hearing about the breakup song uh, from Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, so no, no Taylor Swift stuff. All right, so back to the back to the sponsorships. So the sponsorships. I mean, the sponsorships is we're talking. You're not talking about putting up brick by brick. Right. You're talking about well, a wall when you become a sponsor. A major, a, a silver, bronze, silver, or gold items. Or by sponsoring, sponsoring the auction items. items. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that covers – explain how the that works okay. again. If so, you uh, all right. Auction item. All right. So, I'm going to touch on this, this briefly because this isn't about – uh, no, This is lives and silent. Okay. And then there's also donations. You can donate items. Okay. Gift baskets, gift certificates. Right. Those are going to be mainly used in, this, in the raffles. This is briefly because it's a whole nother podcast. <laughs> Donated items are great. However, they don't bring much in in fundraising events. Right. They're bringing, I mean, I see this all over the country. They're bringing about an eighth to maybe a half of retail. If you're lucky, half of retail. Most of them are bringing an eighth to a quarter of retail because it's donated items. It's a local people going to a local event with stuff donated by local businesses. If people wanted that stuff, they would go buy it themselves. People walk in, it's a myth, it's a charity myth that people walk in and say, oh, it's for charity, I'm going to pay well above retail. That's not ha- That mm-hmm. doesn't happen. You want to believe it, but it doesn't happen, sadly. This, these items are items you don't see anywhere. Right. The reason why is because they come from my company. There is a cost associated. If it's sponsored, if an item is sponsored for $250, it's completely covered. It's tax deductible. Your name will be on it. You'll get the sponsorship. Your name and a hundred percent of that money, the hundred percent of your sponsorship money goes to the Anderson family. Mm-hmm. Let me say that again. If you decide you can sponsor an item or items, a hundred percent of your money that you're donating goes to the Anderson family. Not to me. Not to my company. It goes to them. When it's paid for when somebody else bids on it and they win it and they pay five hundred dollars for a two fifty thing. Right. hundred percent of that money goes he made five hundred dollars. Right. If it doesn't sell, we take the items back. He still keeps that money. There's no the trick in the, the sponsor money. Right. So there's levels. Sponsorship. Sponsorships are big. And legitimately not only is fill in the room very important. Mm-hmm. That's the most important. Sponsorships are most important, but getting these auction items sponsored is really big, very big. 
And then we can come in with the donations, gift right. baskets, gift certificates, grills, liquor, whatever else. So can somebody, let's say a business, um, well, you put a post out not too long ago about how businesses are constantly hit with donations. I'm going to ask so him. Can, I'm going to ask go, him. Oh. Did you read my blog? If you didn't say no. Your blog? I wrote a blog about Hartford County. Uh. How many charities do you think there are in Hartford County? Thousand seventeen hundred and forty six. You know what the square miles of the county is? No, four hundred thirty seven square miles. That means there's four charities for every square mile. Yeah. So you can imagine the businesses. How many of these local small businesses are hit up to donate? It's astronomical when mm-hmm. you're talking about square miles. Harford County is a big county, but there's a lot of charities in Harford County. I was going to say, how many times are are people hitting you off for donations, Joe? Yeah, yeah all the time, yeah. all the time. Yeah. So, but my my question was, let's say, because if a business wants to sponsor auction items, but they don't know what auction items you have, can they just like write out a check for say five hundred? Say we want to sponsor they, whatever auction items. They can do that, okay. or they can Bobby, and I'll go give it to Joe and mm-hmm. maybe to Danny too. Um, they'll have a catalog. They can oh. send them the catalog and they get a pick. They can pick an item that they want to sponsor. Okay. And that'll go all the way from jewelry that's fifty, sixty, seventy dollars up to a Lamar Jackson jersey. Probably eight hundred dollars framed. Mm-hmm. Um and they'll have their name on it. It it will be there on their name on it. It will put it up on Facebook. We'll make sure that everybody knows that it's them. And hundred percent tax deductible because they'll be cutting a check to the Agape project. Okay. They can reach out to me. They can reach out to, to, to Bobby. They can reach out to Joe. They can reach out to any of us. Well, I was going to say, what's the best way for people to find it, to get tickets or to become a sponsor? Contact you, Bobby? Yep. They That's, can call or text me. Uh, it's four, on the flyer. Yeah, it's on the flyer. It's, Give uh, the number out for those listening. Uh, 443-929-0718. Okay. Um, I also made a Gmail account. It's a rally, R-A-L-L-Y, the number four, and then Rylan, R-Y-L-A-N, and Landon at gmail.com. Say it. Rally for Rylan and Landon at gmail.com. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. spelled out, right? Not the symbol N? Uh, correct. Okay. Yeah. It, it, I'm, I'm just telling you, we're going to make it incredible. Yeah. Um, nobody, nobody puts on a better event space mm-hmm. than Martin's and the price that he's getting because I pulled some strings and was able to get he's they're also benefiting from buying tickets yeah he's benefiting the Anderson family's <laughs> benefiting from everything sponsorships ticket sales donations auction items people there amazing raffles live auction silent auction raffles you name it and there's people in the county that I'm going to specifically talk to. Like, I, I, I'd, I'd like to see a lot of the people in the county that you often see in the same events that he's been to. Mm-hmm. You know, um, county council president, I'd like to see him there. I'd like to see everybody else there. Um, let's, this is one of those things. It's like you're not given a, to give books to people or shoes. You're changing and saving lives. Mm-hmm. Of babies. It's not going to a foreign land. You know, this is something. What's the date again? March 22nd. From 8 to midnight. 8 to midnight. 8 to midnight. Martin's West. Now, there will be room blocks next door for anybody who wants to imbibe a little bit, have a few. You could crawl. So there's hotels right next door. I will have room blocks. We will put it up. You can crawl to those places. I've had events there before where people have actually crawled. I've seen it. You can crawl <laughs> next door to go to go to the hotel. There's the Hampton, and there's the Quality Inn right next door. I will have room blocks. They'll give specialty room rent, rent you know, rates. Um, there's a lot of parking down there. By the way, it's extremely safe. Yes, I know it's Baltimore. It's extremely safe there. A lot of people say, it's Baltimore. I'm scared to go to Baltimore. Yeah. That's not the city. No, it's not the city, but usually oh, when you Baltimore say Baltimore. County. It's Baltimore well, County. Yeah. It's very safe. Martin's is a beautiful place, extremely mm-hmm. safe. The, 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 there's a adequate parking. Um, we've had some major events there that Joe's been at. Mm-hmm. And, like, 
already um, we've got a lot of people that I'd, I'd like him to mention. Can you mention who's already came on and said they were sponsor? Yeah, um, Elite Power Washing, Jimmy's Famous Seafood, uh, Mattingly Electric, Window Depot, Baltimore, um, obviously Tar Heel Construction Group and the Victory Team. Um, and uh, other people have expressed interest but haven't committed yet. Yet. Yeah. Which is what? Ed Riffy from Ed Riff's Construction. Yeah, and um, Chaps Pit Beef expressed interest in, in um, sponsoring, and Plaza Ford was interested in sponsoring an auction item. Um, yeah. So we're, I'm throwing down the gauntlet to all the businesses in the area or anybody in the area. Help us out, step up, sponsor, come to this incredible event, and let's help us fill the room. Joe, you got anything? Yeah, just, uh, you know, good people helping good people. I mean, and, you know, it's just a, 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 a local loving family that, that's in need. I mean, obviously, you know – they have insurance and, and there's supplementation, right? But it's just it, the, there's just such a big disparity mm-hmm. on what this family needs, and um, you know, it's it's just good people helping good people, you know. So I, I challenge everybody out there, you know, whether it's just a in kind donation of a hundred dollars or if it's a platinum, you know, sp- sponsorship at five thousand dollars, just um, you know, just help us out yeah. you know help, help us help us show this family some love and some and, and some support and let's uh let's step up and let's have a great event and i'll and i'll i promise you i will give me and my entire staff will give you an event like you've never seen before if you've never been to one of our events just don't sit on your lap <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh Bobby, to wrap, Bobby, to wrap this, we'll explain that after we're done. To wrap this up, tell everybody listening why it's important for them to come to either come to this event or sponsor something. Um, it, I mean, it's important to me because these are two of the most important people in my life. Um, it's you know, like I said, people say it's unfortunate some of the stuff that we go through. Kate and I feel blessed to be their parents, but it is unfortunate, you know, to see when. Rylan gets sick, ends up in the hospital, or there's certain things that we are um, powerless over that we want to help them with. Um, So, you know, and I know that both of you have been giving Joe accolades, you know, and everything, and I kind of felt like a fourth wheel for a second. But um, anyway, it's like, you know, I I don't think Joe necessarily likes getting all that attention sometimes. I think that he just does it because that's the kind of person he is, Mm -hmm. you know, and um I get teary eyed like talking about this stuff because it's about my kids. Like I know I've seen him do this for plenty of other, um, you know, charities and stuff, but this is about my kids and like, it just feels extra important to me, but this is just something that he does on a regular basis for a lot of people. So I'm really grateful not only to be an employee at Tar Heel, um, but also to just have that kind of friend in my life. Um, but yeah, it's important. Um, Kate and I are committed to taking care of Ryland and Landon for the rest of our lives. And, there are certain things that we need that are beyond our means. And, you know, this event will definitely help, you know, our family, especially Ryan and Ryland and Landon. So as I'm sitting here, cause he's hundred percent correct about him. Mm-hmm. As I'm sitting here, you probably, you guys don't see it, but he has an R tattooed right here behind his ear. And I asked him, what is, what is that? What is that R? Tell show him and then tell him what that R is. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Um I mean, just to be a hundred percent transparent, um, when in twenty twenty, like my wife is going through chemo, Rylan was on NG tube, um, we're stuck inside because of COVID. Um, I got, you know, majorly depressed. It's like there were so many things I wanted to help my family with and I wasn't sure I wanted to be here anymore. And um one night I thought that I I didn't want to be here anymore and um Rylan started crying and um I was the only person in the home that knew how to take care of him. And um, he quite literally saved my life. And uh, right behind his right ear, he has a, it's where you can feel his VP shunt that I was talking about earlier that mm-hmm. saved his life. So to honor him and like the, you know, the little boy that saved my life and changed my life forever, I got an R right where his VP shunt is. The shunt that wow. goes into his head. Yeah. Wow. It's right there behind his right ear. I didn't know about that. So everybody. We need you. He needs you. The babies need you. All of us 
all sitting here at this table. Myself, Joe Ayler, Rich Bennett, Bobby Anderson. We'd love for you to be a part of us on March 22nd at 8 from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. in Martins West in Baltimore. I want to thank my guests for coming on this episode, but I really want to thank you for listening. And I would really appreciate it if you left a review about the show or about this episode. And you can actually do that right from the website. Go to conversationswithrichbennett.com. You can leave a comment about this episode. You can leave a review for the podcast in general. Another thing I would love for you to do, of course, follow us on social media. But send me a voicemail. If there is somebody you want me to get on the show, if you want to come on the show, if there is something you would like for us to discuss, send a voicemail or send an email. If you send a voicemail, if you want, I can actually play it back on the show too. So just saying. Uh, But no, seriously, I, I want to thank you for listening because if it wasn't for you, the podcast wouldn't be as successful as it is. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Celebrating 10 years, and there's a lot of good things going on this year with Rage Against Addiction. So I am sitting here with Wendy, the executive director, the founder of Rage Against Addiction. And we have something big coming up this year. The Memory Walk, was it the Memory Walk 5K? It's Memory Walk Recovery Run. It's Rage Against Addiction's Memory Walk Recovery Run 2024. Uh, This is our biggest fundraiser of the year. Uh, We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and our mission is to provide awareness and support to anyone that struggles from drug and or alcohol abuse. And this event brings together um, a a large variety of people, um, those who have lost loved ones to the disease of addiction, and also we celebrate those in recovery. So this 5K is. a run and we have a lot of runners who are running um, to support recovery. We have runners that run in memory of a, a loved one that is no longer with us. And then we have a really large group of family members that come out bring photos of their loved ones and just celebrate them and just try to bring some awareness to the disease. Uh, This supports our programs. We have sober living houses in Bel Air, Maryland for women. And we also have some other programs that support uh, new moms in recovery. Uh, We support uh, kids by being a resource broker. And we've done some funding throughout the years to help people get into sober living. So, so this is this is a big deal for us. This is the the event that brings a lot of awareness to the community. It brings awareness to all that we're doing. And like Rich said, it's our 10th anniversary. So we we really want to let you know that we're here to stay. And the reason that we're doing what we're doing so well is because of all of the support in the community. And so we we, we welcome you to to join us. You can also join us virtually through the entire month of April. April uh, 1st through the 30th, we have a virtual event. And then the 13th is our actual in-person event at Cedar Lane Regional Park in Bel Air. You can register through our website, which is www.rageagainstaddiction.org. You can find all your info there. Uh, It'll take you to run sign up. You can create a team. You can do some um, independent fundraising with your family in memory of your loved one. And we also welcome sponsors. Sponsors get a place on our website. Your logos will go there. We give a shout out at the event. We're going to have some speakers from our alumni which is really what's near and dear to my heart. And again, it's, you know, it brings us all together and, and we hope that you can be there. Uh, now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The run is a 5K, but you can also walk it, which is what, one mile? We we have um, a route that goes around Cedar Lane uh, Regional Park. They have a, a path. And when you do the 5K, you, you do two laps. Our walkers okay. tend to do one. So it's like half, you know, it's probably like. Okay. It's probably like a, a mile, a mile and a little. Yeah, I can do the walk. You don't have to be here to participate. And we encourage that because we know that no family is immune and addiction, unfortunately, isn't going away. And we have a new uh, up and coming generation that was plagued by COVID and we're seeing the youth population really struggle and uh, 
you know, we want to make sure yep. that they continue to have the resources that they need. So again, they go to rageagainstaddiction.org to sign up. Yes. Under events. Or to become a sponsor as well. Oh, yes. Please, 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 please sponsor. 